Hey guys, welcome to Dog Will Fix It. Today we're going to be talking about programming BMWs. Um, what does that mean? That basically means a lot of these car cars have hidden options um, that they may enable in specific regions like the US versus Europe, let's say. Um, and some of them are like comfort options that you have to actually get BMW to enable. So on this car, which is a much older car, so 2003, there's actually quite a few hidden options or comfort options. Let me give you an example of one. So when you drive away... Um, you want the doors to automatically lock now on this car that was actually disabled so i've actually enabled that other ones like in the u.s a lot of the cars when they're actually um sold in the u.s from the manufacturer from bmw themselves they'll have when you lock the car they'll beep and when you unlock them they'll double beep um and the lights you know the the, the hazards or the indicators will flash now in the uk the beeps are normally switched off so i've actually turned them on on an x5 before and I've actually activated them on the A46, but there's a whole host of options. For example, you know, you can see I've got um, the uh, wing mirrors, um, you know, so when you lock the car, you want them to fold up automatically. Or um, when you unlock the car, you want them to fold back down into position, that kind of stuff. With the convertible roof, you can open it from the key. So these kind of options, they're normally called comfort options. Um, and I'm going to start building a little video series around how to program each option in the tools that i'm using so normally you would you have a laptop you'd have um bmw impa software and all sorts of other funky software to install but nowadays you can get the kali um obdn adapter this is a generation 2 that i've been using and it plugs into the obdn port most cars will have an obdn 2 port um from i think 1996 onwards i think um so this car is a 2003 and it's got one and then what I have is I have the app, the Carly app installed on my phone, on my Android phone. And I can connect to this device via Bluetooth. Um, and then actually access some of the functions on the car, including reading all the error reports, clearing the errors off the system. So if you've got like a dashboard light on, you know, like the engine lights on or an airbag light, I can actually see what the error actually is and the code for that error. And then, you know, maybe take some... Um, corrective action to fix that issue or maybe i just need to clear the codes because it's just a temp issue and it's gone now it's been fixed already that kind of thing so anyway today uh what i want to do is just run you through how i can actually um enable the car to beep on lock and double beep on unlock so we're going to do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to plug the carly adapter in first um actually something else to just point out here is that um this works fine on my x five that i used to have a long time ago a 2007 x5 a e70 but on the e30 e46 which is a 2003 bmw 3 series i had to get a slight i had to get an extension to make it read all the different settings it read some of them but not all of them so uh, that extension looks like this give me a sec so that extension is actually this you can see this big black block that i've added on to the to the to the carly to the original uh, adapter and that allows me to read older cars like the 5 Series, which is an E39, and this car, which is a 3 Series E46 model number. Um, but I think there's a third generation Carly adapter out, which is an all-in-one, and it just works in everything. But I've not, I've not tried it, and I've not had it. But this, with this block, it works on this car really well. So let, let's give it a shot. So the first thing we're going to do is plug this in. And if you look just down here, there's a little flap. You see this flap is already open. And... Just underneath it, right here, let me see if I can reach it for you. There's actually the old BDM port right there. Right there. So I'm going to plug this in. Make sure you plug this in the right way around. I know it's like this. You can see that's in, right? And when a car turns on, There'll be a light that turns on here and you can see a little red light has come on underneath flashing right and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually connect my phone to this device for over bluetooth and it's already paired with my phone and then from the carly adapter app i'll show you what to do okay okay so i've got the app running um, you can see i ran a check on the car a while back what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually connect to the adapter so it's generation two carly adapter now, what I'll do is I'm going to do other videos around this that show you how to program the different options in um, for this car. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the alarm beeps first. 
and then I'll do another video. So I'm building a series around um, the different programming options. You can see now it's connected. It's scanning the car for additional information, done. Brilliant, it's actually working great first time. So now it says, yeah, you're ready. So coding, you can see there's a section on coding. So let's go to that. Yeah, yeah, battery's fine. So we're gonna let it run its test. It takes a couple of seconds, usually number of compatible ECUs was three. So without that black block, I was getting nothing. I was getting it cannot connect um, and now it can. So that's brilliant. So you can see I've actually got uh, a couple of ECU uh, modules uh, available. So GM5, LSZ for lighting and the C uh, memory module uh, under SM. So if we go to G5, GM5, let's see what options there are. Okay, yep, says it's stable, brilliant. Now back in the day, you'd have to have a laptop and you can still do it with that and you need to get all the BMW software installed, but you can actually just do it like this now. There's also a backup of this. So when you actually do this for the first time, the Carly app creates a backup of all the settings in case something goes wrong and you can restore from those settings, which is brilliant. Okay, so now you can see I've got a whole host of options and you can see, look, anti-theft alarm system on optional uh, optical confirmation unlocking on so that's when you unlock the car um, from the key it flashes and the same uh, for when you lock the vehicle it flashes and you can actually see look audible audible confirmation unlocking vehicle and that basically i've actually got on and that's all you need so you just go there and you flick it on and one for the unlocking and there's one for the uh audible one for the locking in and then it will basically double beep on the locks yeah and as you can see look audible confirmation after complete closing there's a whole host of options on here uh but that's the two that i want to show you for this video and obviously there's a lot of configuration to get to this point you need to plug the adapter in you need to make sure it's paired with your phone you need to make sure the phone then is connected and the carly app can connect to the device and then it can actually read the three different ecus for that so uh, that's really it. All you need to do is just go to the audible, audible confirmation for vehicle locking and enable that. And you can see mine's is on uh, and I actually give you a quick demo and then the locking, uh, the audible confirmation for locking as well. Uh, and that's it really. So let's actually um, give you a demo. So the car is currently unlocked. So when I lock it, you hear it beep and you see the lights flashed. And when I unlock it, so that's what that setting enabled and disabled. So you can have it all, you can have it on, on and off depending on when you're locking it from the key or when you're unlocking it from the key. And I know I think a lot of Mercs already have this on. One of my mates was saying that you know his Merc already does that. Uh, it'd be nice if the BMs did it. The BMs do have that option. You just have to have it enabled, especially in the UK and Europe. In America, they may already have it activated. Yep, that's it. Thanks for watching, sub the channel, like the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.